Yes. Welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed the kitchen and you take away some lovely tips with you. Do try it at home uh, with your family. So, Jana, food, huh? Yeah, food is important for our healing, isn't it? It is. It is. It is very important. Jana, just I before we, the that. break, and I know we, you know, we can talk about food and all that, but just before the break, we're talking about success strategy yes, for black yes. people, and we were going to later on, we're going to go into other areas. People can, how people can overcome that, you know, yes. training their mind and having some self love mm -hmm. and yes, giving us some absolutely. tips. But I noticed you've got a couple of things because during the break, we we're just talking about yes. a couple of the books you had there. What are the books? Well, these are books about nonviolent communication, okay. which is one of the main strategies I talk about in my book, Success Strategy. Strategies for black people. What is nonviolence communication? Now, like just communicating like I'm doing with you or Well, nonviolent communication is a particular well, he calls it actually a language of life. It was developed by someone called Marshall Rosenberg, who's a brilliant, just brilliant trainer and educator. And it's wow. about speaking from the heart. In nonviolent communication, or NVC as we call it, mm -hmm. it's called jackal speech. Jackal, jackal speech. speech. The undermining things that we say about ourselves and about each other. Mm -hmm. And um, it's not about making ourselves wrong. It's not about saying, I shouldn't say that, because I think a lot of times, if, if we're upset with someone or something, we might call them a name, we might say something unkind about them. And then we say, I shouldn't have said that because a good person wouldn't say that. I must be a bad person. These are the assumptions that we make about ourselves and our own behavior and other people. Well, in nonviolent communication, we say that everything we're doing is we're doing in order to try to meet a need. And everything everyone else does is an attempt to meet a need. And needs are what connect us with life. They connect us with life force energy. Mm -hmm. So needs are the things that are most important to us, what we value, mm -hmm. what matters to us, what oh, makes yeah. a difference to us. So I'm particularly interested in working with parents because I think if parents can use NVC with their children from a young age, mm. it will completely transform family life. And I've seen the difference that NVC makes in my own life and in other people's lives in communication. It's just amazing. Well, just things like our self-talk, you know, I'm so stupid or I'm so selfish or something like that. Those kind of things that we say about ourselves. Mm -hmm. When we realize that every single thing we do is an attempt to meet a need, our self-talk becomes much more loving. Mm -hmm. And that transforms the way we interact with other people. So give us a tip, how can I love yeah. myself? How can I, give me, what can I go yeah. away with and say, you know, I don't want to say I'm stupid, I'm this, because obviously we do that. Sometimes you make a mistake and you kick yourself. I exactly, go, oh. exactly. I That's kick myself a lot because, yeah. you know, you think, oh, damn, I wish I hadn't made that mistake. Yeah. So what can I do in that when I find myself in such an instance? What should I say to myself instead? Well, you see what you just said. I wish I hadn't done that. That's really different from saying I'm stupid. Because already what you're talking about is a need. You're talking about a need to be highly skilled. You've got a need to be resourceful. Mm -hmm. And that's what... NVC does, we focus on the needs, what's our, our values, what's important to us, what matters to us. Okay. So if we say, I wish I'd been more skillful, I wish I'd been more resourceful, or, or I wish I um, had a better knowledge of this, or something like that, mm -hmm. already that's taking us away from jackal speech. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, there yes. you go. I, I, all this while I was thinking that, you know, I wasn't saying it right, but there, obviously. You see? You know? <laughs> I mean, we can learn. I mean, NVC is not easy to learn. Yeah. I'm, I'm setting up workshops now for black parents, which are just going to teach the basics. Yeah. But it is actually a new language. Mm -hmm. It's a new way of looking at things. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times parents think that children are just doing things because they're naughty yeah. or they're bad mm -hmm. or they're deliberately trying to upset them. Mm -hmm. And they're parents. doing that with children. <laughs> not just parents but teachers, anyone who yeah. works with young people. Yeah. But actually, when we start realizing the child is doing something yeah. because he or she is trying to meet a need, like maybe the child's got a need for play or the yeah. child needs to have some fun or the child's got a need for freedom or yeah. something like that, yeah. then we don't need to be harsh with our children. We don't need to tell them off. We need to connect with their feelings and needs. Nonviolent communication mm -hmm. is all about connecting from the heart. It's oh. about connecting from the heart. So it's very, very practical. And in the trainings, we take, through, take people through in stages. So by the end of the two-day training, you should know the basics. Then you have to go away yeah. and practice. Yeah. So there are practice groups, and then you can do further training as well to deepen it. And it's just incredible because when you do NVC, you're connecting with life force energy. Mm -hmm. So it frees up an enormous amount of energy. Wow. Now, in this book, um, Marshall, this is Speak Peace in a World of Conflict. Okay. It covers a lot of the same ground as the first book. Mm -hmm. um, 
And he's talking in this book about connecting with the divine energy, divine energy that's in each and every human being. Mm -hmm. So we all have it, and it's about recognizing that. Yeah. So Marshall has worked with incredible people. He's worked in prisons, he's worked in war zones. Mm -hmm. He works with people who, you, people like you and I wouldn't even want to be in the same room with. Mm -hmm. He's worked with rapists, he's worked with murderers. And every time he works with people, he just comes from the heart. And I mean, I've met Marshall, I've heard some of the stories he's told. Yeah. They are brilliant, amazing stories. Should I tell you a story about cool. NBC? Yeah, yeah. So like, for example, um, there was a woman, she'd just done the basic introductory training. Mm -hmm. She worked in a hostel, and one night a man came in wanting to stay in the hostel, and there were no beds. Mm -hmm. So she was going to give him information about somewhere else where he could go and stay, yeah. and he didn't believe her. He knocked her down, he sat on her, and he put, held a knife to her throat. God. So at this point, she's telling the story to Marshall, mm -hmm. and Marshall says, what did you do? And she said, I did what you taught us to do. I connected with his feelings and needs. Remember, she'd just done the basic introductory training. So Marshall says to her, what, you remember to do that? And she said, well, what else could I do? And he kept, this man apparently kept saying to her, you're a liar, you're a liar, you've got beds that, and you won't give me a bed. So she connected with his need for the truth. And wow. I think it's- But that, yeah. that is extraordinary yeah. because you wouldn't get really that normally, is. you know? It is. Because and, that is actually a, a dangerous position to be in. Very. And no, but people are in dangerous positions every day and they either kill other people mm -hmm. or they get killed. And this is the point of nonviolent communication. It gives us an alternative and it really works. So violence is not really, is, as what you're saying, violence is not, uh, what's the word? It's not a way out, is it? You it's can not. Talk. You it's can, not. You, know, you can connect with people. That's right. Using the uh, speak piece, which is, they are divine. Yes, everybody has a spark of the divine in us. So apparently this went on for about half an hour and eventually mm -hmm. the man realized that the woman genuinely was connecting with his feelings and needs and he let her get up and then she told him somewhere that he could go and stay, which is what he needed. So that met his needs. Wow. Yeah, it's gosh. incredible. There's some well incredible done to that lady. Yeah, you know, and that was absolutely. very, very brave of you, really, yeah. to, to, to do that. But you see, everyone can do it. This is the thing. I think Marshall Rosenberg is an extraordinary man, but he's not saying, look at me, I'm so special. He's saying, you can do it too. And this is what we do in NBC. We're teaching everyone to acquire these skills. And Marshall Rosenberg has seen four-year-old children use wow. NBC. Wow. So, and how often do you run this training program and how can people get hold of We're you? starting them um, after Easter. After. If you go to my website, which is blacksuccess1.com, mm -hmm. the, the uh, workshops are called Improving Relationships and Improving Communication. Okay. I'm starting with the parents because I think parents can use them, teach them to their children. Mm -hmm. And then next year we're going to look at doing workshops for young people mm -hmm. and training them to work with their peers. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we've got this crisis at the moment with street violence and mm -hmm. young people People killing each other yeah. and it's frightening and everybody's running around saying what can we do what can we do how can we stop this from happening mm -hmm. well MVC says you start with the heart connection first you wow. use these these methods to create a heart connection and once you do that mm -hmm. then the strategies come out of that heart connection just to talk to you about creative visualization mm -hmm. from your book mm -hmm. how can we use creative visualization and okay. what is it well excellent question because um a lot of people say they have trouble visualizing mm -hmm. creative visualization anyone who's read the secret or seen the film mm -hmm. they talk about a spirit board in my book i call it a treasure map I, this is one method we've been using mm -hmm. in my courses for many many years mm -hmm. you make a collage of what you want so like say you wanted to um, celebrate yourself yes we've done this a lot in my in my teaching yeah. um, I say to my students you are the treasure so celebrating so, myself yeah like so you put what? you put images you put photographs you could put drawings okay. of things about yourself representing your positive qualities maybe you're someone that's very courageous yeah. or you're someone who's very fun loving oh, or you like, like lots that. of color yeah. or you know <laughs> i've had people who've done stuff like they've run the marathon in order yeah. to raise money for charity yeah. and when i say to someone oh you're very generous they don't even see it like that so it's recognizing those qualities and bringing them out you put them on a collage you look at it every day and you start to realize what an amazing person you are Aww. each and every one of us is yeah. 
unique and we need to celebrate that uniqueness yeah. we you know each of one each and every one of us is an amazing being yeah. and we need to celebrate that yeah. and that is healing the past when we're talking about post-traumatic slave syndrome yeah. my work is about healing yeah healing and creating a better future. Holiday, I saw holiday. Mm. We should take a holiday. Yeah, definitely. Well, this is one of the pattern breakers. Take a holiday, and in the book I talk about going on a retreat. Yeah. Um, we do Buddhist meditation retreats at the London Buddhist Center. Ooh. You can go away on an introductory retreat in the countryside for two days. Yes. And when you come back, your world looks different because uh. you've been focusing on developing your mind and your heart. Oh, Focusing wow. your mind and opening your heart. And see, what we tend to do is look outside of us for the solutions. But the solutions are inside of us. We have the solutions in our hearts. So Brilliant. when you stop, you go into the countryside where it's quiet and it's peaceful and, and there's no distractions. Yes. That's when you can really look within. Thank you very much, Jana, indeed. Thank you very much for watching my show. I hope you've enjoyed my conversation, our discussion, I should say, with Jana. And I hope you take away some lovely tips as well with you. And don't forget as well, lots of information on Jana's website, which we're going to have on the, on the screen for you to, to, to write and you can visit at your own leisure. This is me, Rhoda Wilson, saying thank you very much for watching. Until next time, when I have another interesting guest, goodbye. <laughs>